Heading out on a short hike, January 29th, or January 30th, excuse me, and I already can't believe the storm damage. Had lots of storms this area. Unbelievable number of trees down already for this year. This isn't a good sign for the upcoming biking, mountain biking, and hiking season. All through here. Looks like I've already cleared some of it. Wow. I was just up here probably within the last four months and this has happened just since then. And we've had some terrible high winds and storms. Well, the bridge is still intact. <clears throat> had lots of rain this week. It's not as wet as I thought it was going to be. I put off coming up here. Is there was snow last week. We only had some 50 degree days. And the water's really flowing. Snow is completely gone. There's a tree down on this side. The stump system came up. Wow. And yeah, we've cleared off the trail here. I do respect the volunteers. I don't know if it's a forest service or we're right by, this is not the Appalachian Trail, but we're right by the Appalachian Trail, and there's an Appalachian Trail club that works here. Yeah, this is washed out. There must have been a lot of water coming through here. Yeah, they had an alternate trail here. They must have made, this looks like this was washed out at one time. This is uh, Red Blazes. Yeah, this has really been roughed up. And again, the water just pouring. Another tree down right in the water. And we have a turn. You can go left or right. We're going to go left today. Oh yeah, it's wet. I've taken right. That's the old uh, Reservoir Hill Trail. It just goes down there and ends. It's been so overgrown, you can't get through it unless you have a GPS. And then you're just walking through the woods with no trail left. This trail is going to start up an elevation. I'm heading up today, when I was on here previously, a, a boulder field to see if it's still there to explore it a little more. Well, uh, here came to an intersection. Looks like a, a trail. Part of the one goes up that way, but now they have a turn here, which I think is new. make a 90 degree left turn and I see the boulder field is bringing you up closer to the boulder field it used to be you bypassed it yeah this is bringing you a lot closer
And here's what I came to see. Hiked by this before, but it was with other people. Never took the time to really take a look at it. So you have to be careful. Too many cracks and crevices and leaves. Now, good view of the boulder field. Very extensive. Just cut up here to the right. And they say this is from the Ice Age, which is long before my time. Beautiful. And I would guess the majority of people in this area aren't even aware that it's here. You could try to go up higher, take a shot of it, coming down from the other side. Okay. After almost killing myself getting up here, this is at the upper part of the boulder field. The last video was clear down at the bottom there. I didn't realize it was this big till I got up here. I had to cross all that. It extends way down there. I think it'd be fun to bring a drone up here. I almost brought my drone today. But I didn't know how cold it was going to be or windy. It's probably better suited for summertime. And I'm, I say at the top, because you can see behind me, it keeps going up. It's a lot narrower up there. But you can see where it just keeps going up towards the top of the mountain. Never had any idea it was this extensive. Oh. I've been wanting to do this. Like I said, I've hiked past it, but people didn't want to stop and explore it. So, this is the boulder field in Michaux State Forest. Oh, I know you get tired of hearing it, but I just climbed probably another two or three tenths of a mile, and it's still going on. Never saw this section of it before. It's probably 150 yards off the trail. The parallels it. That is further up from what we saw before and to my surprise it keeps going. Here's again some more storm damage but this is remarkable. There's a state park up in uh, north Eastern PA that brags about their boulder field. Well, this boulder field's got that beat by a mile. And what's nice about it, that one you can hardly get into because it's only about an hour out of New York City and it's packed all the time. This one, I'm all by myself. Gonna head up and see if I can find the end of this. Once again, I'll probably up another tenth or two tenths of a mile. And this is as packed as it was when I first ran into it. It goes on forever. That's where it came from down that way. Not really easy footing. Probably shouldn't be here by myself, but it is what it is. Yeah, it seems to go on forever. I had no idea it was this big. I know I'm repeating myself, sorry, but I'm amazed. You can see where it goes clear around the corner up there. I don't even think I can get to the end of it. Oh, beautiful day, 34 degrees. I am just amazed. Well, I gotta go a little further. I don't know how much more I can, closer I can get. Oh, you can hear I'm breathing heavy. I just hiked up probably another two tenths of a mile. Looks like I am getting to the end of it. But still going down and still behind me. 
it's a little wider here and the rocks don't look quite as big looks like this may be close to the beginning of it but unbelievable it's coming in from this way which would be west this is north this is almost due north looks like it's coming down in this direction and it just just got wider as it went down the few over there I'm probably a, a good half mile from where the original video was where I walked into the bottom of this uh, boulder field I had no idea it was this big and I'm still not to the top yeah I definitely got to bring a drone up here and, and fly it and see just how big it is okay well I'm really breathing hard now but I got to the top this is looking down and right here is where it starts from that point right there that big boulder is it doesn't go any further up so not an easy hike not far but not easy especially okay over here into the boulder field I think I twisted my knee not bad but I can already feel it aching because there's not a flat place to put your feet yeah this is this is the top of it and it's probably close to three tenths to half a mile long So I'm going to try to go over here to my left, which will be heading west, see if I can find the original trail and head back out of here. I've been wanting to do this for a long time and it was well worth it. Haven't seen another human being, saw a bunch of deer droppings and signs of animals, which is a good thing. And there's a tree down, which is another storm damage. I get back, I'll put this all in one type of video and post it and hopefully people will enjoy it. But again, amazed at this little known boulder field. Never heard anybody else talk about it. I just stumbled upon it by accident. Uh, I headed to west. I only went about 150 yards and came back on the trail. Uh, it's not as washed out up here. It looks like it's in pretty good shape. So, all in all, it's only going to be about a two and a half mile hike. Coming up through this boulder made it seem like a five mile hike. Uh, I need to do this more often. The older I get, the more effort it takes me to get motivated. My wife and I will both be 70 years old in a few months. And we try to stay active. It sure beats sitting in a lazy boy all day. Which unfortunately a lot of my friends do. It's hard to get anybody in my age group to cup me you know, on hikes or bike rides or skiing. It's like they've just given up. Someday it'll all end, but until it does, I'm gonna try and keep going as long as I can. Well, what's nice is after all that climbing, this section is going downhill. So, now you've born you with this straight hike. back with the city. If anybody's interested in doing this hike, I really don't know how to tell you to get here because I don't think there's a real name for this trail, which is one of the problems with Michaud State Forest. If it has on their website, some of the trails are 
verified, some of them aren't. This started out as a horse trail, but it is a nice trail to walk. Even though, like I said, now I'm coming downhill, going up is almost uphill the whole way to hit High Rock Road. But you come up Old Forge, you pass the parking lot for the Appalachian Trail, and you come up probably about another half a mile, and you'll see a wooden gate to your right with a little parking area. Not not a designated parking area, it's just a pull-off. And uh, to the left there's a road, and to the right is the trail that heads down, and that's the trail I'm on. You get down across that bridge you saw at the beginning, and then get up to the turn, make a left, and it'll take you right up. This is located about five miles outside Waynesboro, Pennsylvania on Old Forge Road. All right, time to shut the camera off. I'm heading pretty steep downhill. You, know, you can see where it was washed out with the water. Whoa, it slipped right there. Okay, coming down off the steeper section, still going down, but you can really see where this rain last week washed all this trail off. I mean, it was gushing. Let's make it go between two and three inches, which is good for the fact that we had a deficit up until the end of December. Now all the restrictions have been taken off, and they say we're doing okay water-wise. So it wreaked havoc on this trail. It's like going down a stream bed now. Let me give you an idea of the rain we got. A couple months ago, this was only about half this flow. We're in Peedham Creek. One day I'm making a curve. Come out. And here's the intersection I told you about. This is where we came in. This is the entrance. And if you make a right, then you head back out this way. By the stream. And again, this is where we came in. Yeah, there have been some either active rangers or active volunteers. I'm very pleased to see that. I actually contacted the rangers last fall and asked them if I could get some volunteers to clear some trails and was told that no, I wasn't allowed to because the trails that I said I wanted to clear didn't exist even though they were on the map and they said I would be arrested if I tried to clear them <laughs> so I didn't we're almost home Actually, I'll show you. It's my car sitting at the top. And that is the wooden gate that I told you about. So you park there, come downhill, go across the bridge, go up, make a left, and head up. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please comment, and I'll try to do the best I can to answer any questions you may have. Thanks again for watching.